Hello YouTube fans, this is Average One of the Lasses, aka the Ghost Girl Clown. I am going to review Wonder Woman today. I'm not any I'm at class right now. So um after this I'll go to the movie theater and watch Wonder Woman. So there you go. And yes, I will record me going to the bus and going to Wonder Woman. <laughs> I mean to the movie theater. And hopefully there'll be a poster so I could be like <laughs> <laughs> But anyways it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh see you guys soon. Hey guys, uh, I'm on the bus. You can barely see the light in here, but anyways, I hope you guys can hear me. But if not, that's cool. I'm on the bus on my way to the movie theaters to watch Wonder Woman. So, see you soon, and I can't wait to go. Can't wait to see this fantastic movie everyone's talking about. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to know if it was recording. So, right now I'm at the movie theaters, just got out of the bus. Now I'm going. I'm about to go inside the movie theater and watch Wonder Woman. <sighs> to be honest, I'm actually hyped to see this movie. I'm watching the trailer. Um, doing Suicide Squad, Skull Candy 81 was just like this movie's gonna suck. <laughs> so Skull Candy 81, if you're looking at this, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> A lot of people are saying that it's pretty good. So, uh, um, if it's better than Man and Steel, better than Suicide Squad, I'm gonna watch it. Um, I did enjoy Suicide Squad, um, obviously. Did I enjoy Batman vs Superman? <laughs> uh, you're cute. Just got finished watching Wonder Woman. Uh, so how do I, well, obviously I'm gonna, how I, I'm gonna say how I feel about the movie once I do the review. But, I give you my first impression. I give the whole movie a 7.5 out of 10. Um, it wasn't, to be honest, well, I'll, I'll talk about it more once I get to the uh, review. And will there be spoilers? No. No spoilers. I don't want to talk about no spoilers. Will I do a video on spoilers? Probably not until maybe I get a, the DVD, the physical copy. But, um, will I buy this movie? Yeah, I'll buy it. Um, is it better than Batman vs. Superman? Yeah, the movie theater version. Is it better than, um, Suicide Squad? Yes. Um... Is it going to be better than the um, upcoming Batman movie? I don't know. We got to watch it. Um, but I do have to say one thing. There's nothing at the end of the credits. So don't stay too long and don't waste your time. Because <laughs> I did. So uh, turn this off and the review will come very soon. See ya. YouTube fans, this is The Scar Clown here to review Wonder Woman 2017. This movie is actually really entertaining. Alright, first off, the villain. The villain is really, really cool. Um, I'm not going to say who the villain is, but if you're a Wonder Woman fan, you know it's Ares. But most people be like, oh my god, you just spoiled it. They say it. All over the fucking goddamn movie. For kind of like, there's a backstory to it in the movie. Um, but I'm not gonna tell you who the villain is. Who is Ares? I will keep that for you guys so you guys can see who is Ares in the uh, movie. All I have to say is <laughs> thank you for making a, a good competitive villain. We didn't get it in Batman vs. Superman, we definitely didn't get it in Suicide Squad. Oh, I'm sorry, a hula dancer. What the fuck were you thinking, Suicide Squad? I didn't even say that in the fucking review. I, I don't, at least I don't think. But anyways... Ugh. Shit keeps falling off here. It's like... Uh, uh, I can't even talk about the Antanturist with, with shit falling at me. But anyways... Um... Wonder Woman, Danielle... Um, well, not Danielle. Um, Dain... Is it... Dinah? What is, I keep forgetting her name. Um, but anyways, Diana, there's her name. Diana is actually a really good character. Um, obviously, she's Wonder Woman, of course. Um, and then we get these... Alright, we get this island full, full, full woman, which is like a guy's dream come true. <laughs> I don't care if they could kick my ass. It is a fucking dream come true. <laughs> I don't care. It is. It's a dream come true. For a lot of guys, that's a dream come true. Strong woman that could 
defend themselves and all that. It's my dream come true, to be honest. Um, and it's it's one of the best things ever. I remember, I remember when I first heard of that, of that concept of Wonder Woman, I was like, I fell in love. I fell in love, and I embraced it. Some fans didn't just because, oh, it's a chick. But, by the way, this movie cannot be seen in London. And I looked at the credits, and some of the move, and some of the things that they shot was in London. So you can shoot movies in London, just don't show that movie here in our in our state, our country. Sorry. What were you thinking, London? You probably have a good excuse. It's probably dumb. But moving on, the movie is all around pretty good, pretty entertaining. You get you get you basically get the origins of Wonder Woman. Yeah. And I'm not gonna tell you whole whole back so you just need to find the, you just need to watch the movie to find out, but I tell you, it is good. If you're a comic book fan and you know her backstory, then you know it. I don't, to be honest, because I'm not that big, huge of a Wonder Woman fan, but I every time I see her, I'm I get I get psyched. I like her scene right next to Superman, right next to Batman. By the way, they, no, they're not in this movie. Um I don't think they I don't think they even born. <laughs> Sorry. Um it would be nice if we get a little bit of backstory. By the way, there is, yeah, like I mentioned, there was no credit after scene. That's kind of disappointing. Kind of a bummer. But whatever. Um, Steve is one of the main characters um, with um, Di Dinah. I, I, gotta, I gotta remember that name. Well, with Wonder Woman. So they work together. Obviously, it's World War II. I think most likely it's World War II. Um... And they're going after Nazis. Let's go back to Nazi thing. Yay! Anyways. Uh, 80s. Fucking 80s with the Nazi shit. Nazis are terrible! <laughs> That's how they were back in the 80s. Shit, maybe in the 90s too, but shit. Um, we're mostly afraid of diseases. Mostly in the 90s. But moving on. Everyone in this movie... It's really, really entertaining, to be honest. Even the side characters are entertaining. And like I said about the villain, fuck Antantris. Fuck Doom. That's it, Doom. Maybe it, it is Doom. Fuck those characters. This guy is where it's at. You know, Ares is where it's at. He is a compel... He is from the beginning to the end, and you're like... At first, you don't see it coming, to be honest. It's like, you're that guy? Uh, to be honest, I didn't see it, because they hyped up this villain, and he's like, he's Ares, he's Ares, and it's like, okay, 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 you, you think it is, and then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, that came out of nowhere. I, I remember when she does do the thing with the sword, I'm not going to spoil it, but you know what I'm talking about, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, when she does that, it's like, oh. That's kind of anticlimactic. Why would you do that to the villain? And then it's like, oh, oh, okay, never mind. He's not the true villain. Good job, movie. Good job. You threw me off really, really well, to be honest. And this movie is funny. A lot of people say, what about the, is it funny? A lot of people say it's funny. It is. The stuff that they throw of the jokes is actually really funny. Um, but then eventually the movie becomes serious. And when it does, it does not stop being serious after that. And to be honest, I loved it. They gave us our origins, they made us laugh, and now they made us serious. And they ended off in a serious note. I liked it. I, I loved it. I tied things together. Not with the... It, this is a perfect standalone movie. Does it tie it in with Superman or Batman? No, it doesn't. It's a perfect standalone movie that does not to be tied to anything. The only thing that you do see is a little bit of... You do, you do get the Wayne name of it, but that's only in the beginning and that's it. Um, you don't see Batman or Superman. You only get a hint of the Wayne. Um, well, the Wayne family, to be honest. Not Wayne, Bruce Wayne, but just, well, now he owns it, yes, but that's just in the beginning of the movie. Um, you don't, again, you don't see Bruce Wayne or Superman at all, so. Um, you only see Wonder Woman and what she does. She's basically a fish out of water. It's a fish out of water story. If you don't like those, you might not enjoy this movie, but... I did. I enjoyed this movie to death. It deserves, it literally deserves a 7 out of 5, a 7.5 out of 10 in my opinion. Because I was mixed, 
I was mixed when the movie ended, to be honest. Because uh, I was like, oh, should I give this an 8? Should I give this a 7? You know what? Put it smack in the middle and a 7.5. And if I was going to rate this, I will give it, yeah, a C plus, which is good. It's a good, entertaining movie. Wonder Woman is a badass, as always. She uses her lasso. It's like, oh, I fucking love that lasso so much. I almost forgot that you can actually make someone tell the truth with that lasso. I always forget about that. I know you can, I know that's Wonder Woman's, the like, freaking, what is it, one of her weaknesses, which is hilarious, because Batman knows, and it's like, in Justice 2, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. and I'm like, ah, I knew it, because <laughs> he knows everybody's weakness in the Justice League, which makes Batman very dangerous, but that's just me, I can't wait for the, um, Justice, um, Justice League movie, hope that's good. I hope that's good because Wonder Woman movie was good. I liked um I liked one uh, Wonder Woman's um cameo and um Batman vs Superman, but I did uh, I did say that they should have had her say hey Bruce here's a toy and then leave and then boom whole movie. But no, they didn't do that. Uh, they rather stick her in and Batman vs Superman. Forget forget Batman vs Superman. Fuck that movie. But Wonder Woman movie deserves to be watched. Does it deserve to see? Yes. Is it a good movie? Yes. If you're a DC fan, should you watch this movie? Yes. If you're a comic book fan, a Wonder Woman fan, should you watch this movie? Yes. It is a must-see, people. To be honest, it's better than Man of Steel. Better than Batman vs. Superman. Better than Suicide Squad. And I, and I only liked one of those three movies, and that was Suicide Squad. Fuck Man of Steel, fuck Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> I actually enjoyed Suicide Squad, and this movie was great. It was good. And you know what? DC right now is like, oh, Wonder Woman. She saved our lives. Oh my god. Oh my god, a chick saved our lives. And then, you know, me in the background being like, yeah, a chick saved your ass. Freaking kiss her. No, not on the boob, not on the cheek, on the lips, because you deserve her. Ugh, fucking love that woman. God, Wonder Woman is freaking awesome. She's badass in this movie. I can't praise this movie enough. Watch it. I do like the ending, um, how stuff happens. But the relationship between Wonder Woman and Steve is really, really great. Ugh, I can't even pronounce my words. And it is funny how... Wonder Woman is trying to figure out how the world works and everything. That, to me, is comic gold. You could have gone so much farther than what you did, movie. But what you did is fine. I wish they went a little bit more farther of, you know, what the fuck is this? What's this? What's a toilet? Uh, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, if, if that's actually, if they ever, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but the stuff that they did question for Wonder Woman, oh, why do you do this? Why do you do that? It's perfect. It is. It's perfect. Again, a fish out of water story. Perfect. How can you fuck up an underdog movie, to be honest? I mean, I love underdog movies. And this is technically kind of like an underdog movie. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I, I, I'm, how many times have I said that? <laughs> a lot, apparently. But this movie, again, I, I can't... I'm sorry, guys. It's mind-boggling because I, I want to say... So many spoilers right now, but I don't want to. All I have to say is, watch this movie. Watch it, and if you don't want to watch it and waste your money, you're just waiting for reviews, and you, or you just want to wait until it comes out on DVD, wait until it comes out on DVD, then get it, watch it, and tell about it. Because this movie is great. <laughs> oh, God. There is one point that Wonder Woman wears glasses. She's fucking hot. As hell. She's hotter. When she wears glasses. Give Wonder Woman glasses and make her fight. I would love to see that. Oh, God. I think I would have orgasmed him right there. <laughs> to be honest. Oh, and Steve was looking at her like, all right, moving on. <laughs> oh, it's just, oh. I, I like this movie. I like it. It's, it is a must buy for me. Yeah, I'm buying this on Blu-ray if I have to. It's just, it looks really good on the big screen and I could just imagine it looking good on Blu-ray. That's just me. But um, this is a Star Clown signing off. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around with me for this review. 
I know I could have said more about it, but to be honest, guys, the more I would say, the more I'm just going to ruin it for you, to be honest. Go ahead and watch it. <laughs> Go ahead and watch it and enjoy this movie. Wonder Woman is... Is the God. And that's all I have to say. Thank you guys and take care. This is the Scorpion signing off. Have a nice day.